separate. The separate option of the solid edit command will separate two parts that are composite, two separate physical entities. And it's better to see it. Let's do this. Let's go up and draw a box. Just any old box, doesn't matter. And let's draw another object. Let's do a cylinder, something different. Can I union these two together? The answer is yes, I can. When I go up and I union things, it'll ask me to select this object and this object, and I hit enter. Those are now one solid model, one composite solid model. I do a list, right? It selects them together, and it says, hey, it's a 3D solid, right? Well, I'm not saying this is good practice. I'm just saying it's possible. Now, once it's happened, how do we break them apart? Okay. Well, we use the separate command. If I go up to solid editing panel, and I go up here to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if I go down here to the bottom here, and I go to separate, and I choose the separate option of the uh, solid edit command, I go separate. It says select a 3D solid. Remember, both of these are the 3D solid, so I can pick anywhere in these two. I'll pick, and then it says um, enter a, bo a body editing option. I'll go separate solids, and I already did, right? It's already done. It just, I should have exited there. So now they're separated. So essentially, I can have any two objects union together even though they're not touching one another. And that just freaks people out. It's like, I didn't say it's a good idea, right? And now it's one object. So what we want to do if we ever get these is go to the separate command, select it, and now we come down and we're going to exit. And then exit. And now we have them back to our good old separate items. So the separate command separates physical entities that were union together but not attached to each other.